Hey there, it's Kristen from K Design Co. Today I want to talk about how to add an Instagram widget or feed to your site. So this is a process um, that's actually pretty easy um, made through a tool um, that you can embed into your site. So I'm using my Kimberly template, but you could use any of my templates or any show it website template um, to do the same process and have a feed on your site. So I'm going to scroll on here to the spot where I want to add my widget, which is um, where I have these social icons. I'm going to stretch out my canvas here to make room for my widget. So now that I've scoped out my spot, I'm going to jump over here. Um, and this is snapwidget.com. So you can go here and make a free account. And then you'll just want to create a new widget. So scrolling down, I'm going to select the free Instagram grid. You're like free, always right. Um, and then here, if I click um, into the username, I just want to go ahead and uh, connect it with my Instagram account. I have a business account, so I'm going to click the Facebook option. Give it just a minute to think about that. Tell it, yes, that's who I am. And then click the account that shows up. So it's already looking pretty great, right? Okay, so moving along, um, these are some other settings that you can update. Um, we'll change a few of them, and then you'll also see this uh, section over here update with the preview. So I'm going to leave the description blank um, for now. And then as far as the thumbnail size, I'm actually going to make it a little oversized um, because I want this to be able to adapt to larger screen sizes. And so you'll see at the bottom, Right now it looks pretty large and kind of unruly, uh, but once I set it to responsive, you'll see that um, that adjusts um, based on the preview pane. So um, the next setting that I want to change is the columns and rows. So I'm actually just going to do one row and I think six across. Um, so that will give me kind of a nice, um, a nice, uh, variety of images and then it asks if I want a border I think I'll keep it without a border or a background color um, just to keep things nice and clean and then I can adjust the photo padding if I want I actually like this kind of simple line but you could add you know as many or as few pixels if you wanted these to be nice and cozy you could just say zero um, but I'll leave it at five and then these last few settings are um, about hovering okay so I think I like um, a fade out hover effect, which basically um, it will cause it to become a little bit transparent when you hover over an image. I think that's nice. It kind of looks like a highlight that I can click it. Um, and then the sharing buttons, um, you'll notice down here, there's these kind of slightly transparent icons that show up. I think I just want to turn those off. We'll just keep it nice and clean. And then the last thing, um, that I want to do is check that yes it is responsive. Um, anytime you can make something responsive on your website it's great um, because it's going to adapt to um, different browser sizes. So you'll notice since I checked yes now I have a much more reasonably sized and looking feed um, closer to what is going to be on my final site. So now that I have all those settings updated I'm going to click get widget. I'm going to copy that over to my show it and then I'm going to add an embed code with this. Double click into it and just paste my code. And now I'm going to adjust the sizing of this embed code box. I think I want mine to span the whole width of this area. So it goes from edge to edge. And so if I want to lock it in like that, I'm going to click this horizontal locking and then I'm going to just double check that it's really the whole 1200 pixels across and make it centered on my canvas. There we go. Okay. So now that we have that all set up, I also want to just double check my mobile view because anytime you're designing or adding something new to a canvas, uh, you have to consider both, both aspects. So you see right now my feed is sitting on top of my icons, which I don't love that. Um, so what I want to do is I'm just going to select all these icons. I'm going to tap them down 
uh, just like I did on the desktop version. And then I'm going to resize again uh, my feed here for mobile. And if I wanted it to stick to the top, again, I could do that. See, we don't need quite as much space between these icons, so I can just adjust it how I like. And then there we go. Now I have both desktop and mobile formatted side by side. Looks great. And then I'm going to publish it and test it out and see how things look. Okay, so I'm going to open up my new page and scroll on down for the moment of truth. Did it work? Okay, it looks awesome. Okay, so now it did exactly what I wanted it to do. If I change the size of my browser, it's also adjusting the size of the feed, which looks great if I make it all the way to mobile. Um, let's see, yep, it's doing what I want. So I think that's great. Um, and it works just like we wanted. And if people want to click on these, I actually can click on these and they'll go to um, kind of feature your posts. So hopefully that was pretty quick and painless and helpful for you. If you have any questions about how um, to customize your show at website, I'd love to help. Just let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, like, um, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.